Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my annual What I Got For Christmas 2021. Now just a quick disclaimer. I am extremely grateful for every single gift that I have received this year. Like I, I've been spoiled this year and I'm very happy with every single present I got. And I'm very grateful to all my family and my friends that got me all my presents. Now this year was a highlight for me because I was able to see my family this year. Like last year we we saw some of Jack's family like on the doorsteps, however this year I was actually able to see my family because last year me and Jack did, well Jack did catch Covid so we didn't really want to risk seeing my side of the family because my nephews are really young and so this year I was actually able to see them and it was absolutely amazing. So Christmas day I was working, for those of you that don't know I am actually a waitress now. <laughs> I finished, I finished college at about June, July time and then I also got my job in a, in like a couple of weeks after I finished college. So I am now actually a waitress. I started off behind the bar. I know, I don't drink, yeah I made drinks, it doesn't really make sense very well. But now I basically can do behind the bar now, which is quite weird to do, quite weird to think about. And by behind the bar, I don't mean making fancy drinks like Purple Rains and Sexes on the Beach. I mean I can pour a glass of wine and I can pour a pint, which is pretty good for me. However, now I have got more confident. I am now actually waitressing, which I'm still terrified of, although I've been doing it for quite a few weeks now. Um, but it's just carrying the place. Don't like carrying the place. But yeah, so obviously I was working on Christmas Day. I worked from 11 in the morning till about 7 o'clock in the evening. So in the morning, I spent my morning with Jack. Obviously, we opened our presents together. And then he dropped me off to my sister, Deanna, who also works at the same place as me. So we went to so we went to work. Jack went to his dad's and then he went to his mum's and then obviously I spent my day at work and then we went to my nan's and saw the rest of my dad's side of the family, which we practically do every year but we didn't get to do last year, which was amazing. And then Boxing Day we went to we went to his nan's in we went to his grandma's in the morning and then we went to his mum's and then we spent the rest of the day with my mum and family. Now I'm going to quickly get to my first present, my main, my main present from Jack. I have been on about one of these for ages and I saw this one in HMV with my mum and it's beautiful and I love it. It's absolutely amazing. Like, like it is, it might be my favourite present I got this year or part of one of my favourite presents I got this year. There we go. My main present off Jack this year was actually a record player. Now, I've seen Beauty Spectrum have one of these in her videos for ages, and she's got all the, like, a load of the Taylor Swift finals, if I can get to right. And I really wanted one, to, just purely for Taylor Swift finals, to be honest. And it is beautiful. <laughs> like, I, I had a sigh. I, I kind of knew Jack was going to get one for me, because he's not very discreet when it comes to presents, and neither is my mum. Because my mum spent a little bit too much time trying to send him a picture while we were at the HMV. And I kind of think, thought she was sending it to Jack, so I said to her, Jack did not get me for Christmas. <laughs> However, I got that and I was very happy when I got that, because obviously Jack didn't think I was, we and Jack didn't think I was going to be able to get one before Christmas. So when I opened that, I was ridiculously happy. <laughs> and the next thing Jack got me, which he knows I love, I love these sort of things. Ah, uh, little fluffy socks, little, little fluffy socks, slippers. <laughs> I love these sort of things, because they're so soft. And because in fact me and Jack have lemon at floor, I'm always having things on my feet because the floor gets so damn cold. <laughs> Especially in the winter. And we don't have very good heating. The next thing Jack got me was part some merchandise of course, because is it is it a Christmas if you don't get some merch? He got me my little Simsy sensitive hoodie. Now, just quickly, I do already have one of these. However, I put it in the wash and it came out with like green all over the back and it was literally stained and could not get it out. And I was really upset because I really loved this hoodie, but Jack got me another one. I had that the right one. Jack got me another one because he knows how much I love wearing them and how much I love little Simsy merch. And I f I'm sorry, but sensitive just, it just describes me a little bit. The next thing Jack got me was one that I did know about and that is my, this is a scarf from Jack Wills. And I was actually with him when he bought this because we were probably at like the start of December and we went to Ashford Outlet and he still hadn't got me anything. So he got me to pick something and I picked my scarf. <laughs> so that was one thing I had to wait for for Christmas. Very happy. The next thing Jack got me is a proper typical me thing and that is white chocolate, especially lint. Oh my God. I love, I love chocolate, but white chocolate is my ultimate favorite thing in the world. 
and especially when I opened these I was very happy and as you can tell we've already started tucking into them because Jack got some as well but he got like the normal ones because he's normal <laughs> The next thing Jack got me is my little Simsy calendar for 2022, which I'm extremely excited for. I, as soon as I saw this merch, I, same with the hoodie, I was really excited when this came out. And it's basically her up with her cat snap. And Simsy's just, I, I relate to Simsy a lot, and Simsy's amazing. So here are the pictures on the back. So she's got like August is like her birthday month. Same as me. So she's got like a little birthday picture of her cat, she's got pictures of her mum, she's got pictures of her dad, and then she's got pictures of all her other family pets. And the last thing Jack got me is this Hogwarts Is Your Home Shimmering Bath Elixir. I can't use this yet, which I'm really sad about. However, me and Jack are hopefully moving, been starting the new year, so... And we don't currently have a bath, we have just a shower, so... Once we move, I've got so many bath bombs, and especially now this, that I really want to try. <laughs> I just miss having a bath, to be honest. Showers get quite boring after a while. So now my mum's present. Now mum, I went to Blue Water with my mum and my sister and Kirsty pointed out Nike Air Force Ones. And I fell obs I was in love with them and they are absolutely beautiful. They're white, which we'll see how long they stay white for. I've worn them once and yeah, so far so good. But I absolutely love these. I really wanted, I've always wanted a pair of white trainers and especially the fact they're fancy Nikes. Kind of makes me feel cool that I've got fancy Nikes now. But yeah, they're cool. They're pretty. Now, the next thing my mum got me, which I was very, very happy when I opened, same as my record player, is the Taylor Swift Fearless Taylor's version. Oh my god, I love this album. Oh my god, I just love Taylor. She's amazing. Look at her. She's beautiful. <laughs> but, um... I was saying to Jack when I opened the record player, I was like, oh my god, I need to buy some records. And uh, in his little annoying head, he he was saying, your mum's got you one. And she's got me Fearless, and I'm really happy that mum got me a Taylor's version one, and not just one of her old ones, just a Taylor's version one, because they are elite. I am planning on getting all of the Taylor ver Taylor's version, and then I'm going to slowly go through and get the rest of like the original ones, because obviously, at the moment, she hasn't bought out Speak Now and 1989, and they're like some of my favourite ones. But for the time being, I am very, very happy with my fearless. So now moving on to the presents from my dad and my stepmom. So the first thing they got us, so this is kind of like a joint present between me and Jack kind of thing. So the first one we got is a festive tea towel pack of three. Now I love festive things and I can't wait to actually decorate somewhere for Christmas. So this year me and Jack have got a teeny tiny tree in the corner behind the TV and a little gonk called Sheila. They are the only Christmas decorations we have because we just have no room in this flat, which is why we're trying to move out and our tenancy thing runs out at like the start of February. So we've got three festive tea towels. We've got one with people ice skating. We have one with presents and one with people making snowmen, which is really cool. Ooh, one of them has a quote. What's that say? Make it... Make it what? <laughs> season to make it a season to remember that makes more sense now but yeah i can't wait to put these in the kitchen next year in the christmas when we get out when we get our new place just quickly as well dan and brenda always give us some cute little bags that we can reuse for all our shopping and stuff to use to put all our presents in the next thing dan and brenda got us is the terry's chocolate orange but white chocolate because dad knows how much i love white chocolate everyone in my family knows how much i love white chocolate I feel like chocolate is such like a traditional Christmas gift. The next thing my dad got me was a pair of socks. Now we've got Jack a pair, you've got Jack some plain, plain, plain black trainer socks. But I got some little organic, organic cotton socks from the white, from white stuff. And they have little ponies on them. Very little horses on them. And they're adorable. <laughs> and then the next thing dad got, the last thing dad and Brenda got me was a puzzle. Now he got one for... They've done very similar presents for me, Deanne and Kirsty, so we've kind of got like the same thing. So I've got the white horse puzzle, of course. And I can't remember what ones Deanne and Kirsty got. I don't know which ones, I don't even know which one Kirsty got. But I know which one Deanne got, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, I got a white horse puzzle. Right, so this, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this section as aunt and uncles and nan and granddad. So, first off, I got a Friends eyeshadow palette because if you don't know, Friends is one of mine and Jack's favourite series. We basically watch it on repeat and we've watched it way too many times. And it's got some pretty little eyeshadow colours in there. 
which looks really fun to try. So that might be coming in the Instagram video soon. Or maybe YouTube, I haven't quite decided yet. And then, like I said earlier, chocolate and biscuits. Very typical Christmas gift. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because I love chocolate and I love biscuits. Oh, it's beautiful. So I've got the Dairy Box Classic Collection from, I can't, I can't see the back of it. Oh, and we've got the Fox Fabulous Biscuit Selection, which is like a classic with chocolate cookies, basically jammy lodges. I'm sorry, but the golden green crunches are beautiful. And I've also got some M&S Belgian flaked truffles, which is very bougie. Like I said earlier, I am very typical. And I have got with all white chocolate and it's Lindorf, which makes it even better. So I've got a white chocolate bar, which I'm excited to have. And I've also got some more white chocolate, like little ball things. And then the last thing I got from, well, what I believe is the last one from my aunt and uncles, is a little Pizza Hut voucher. We've got 20... Well, I can't find the receipt, but I can't remember how much is on it. I'm going to have to message Amanda. I know you watch these. How can you message me how much is on this piece? Because I can't remember. But I got a... We got a Pizza Hut voucher from our aunt, Kevin and Amanda. And I know I know the 100% they got me this because me and Jack love Pizza Hut and we love pizza. And pretty much whenever we look after Dylan, we always get pizza. <laughs> But me and Jack are going, me and Jack both have Wednesdays off now, now he's got his new job. And we, Wednesday is like our day together. And normally every other Wednesday we go on date night. So this is going to be our date night food at one point. Good old Pizza Hut. And of course, like every year, because Nan and Granddad know how much we love these. Nan and Granddad got us some more fluffy socks. And every year, a new scarf. Now I've got two scarves. And both of these I love. So this one's from Primark. This is more because Nan took off the price, but she left the tag on. So it's like, a th it's, this one's more thicker and it's more woolly. And it's got like kind of grey and cream on it. And then I've got some more fluffy socks. I've got some pink ones. I've got some grey ones. I've got some blue ones. And I've got some white ones. And I practically live, like I said earlier, but the fluffy socks, I practically live in them because the floor's are cold. So never have too many fluffy socks. Next up, I'm going to do what Deanna and Kirsty got me for Christmas. So basically this year, because obviously I've just got my job, obviously this year has been an expensive year. We kind of decided that we were going to do, because there's three of us, there's me, my older sister Deanna and, my, and our middle sister Kirsty. And we kind of decided that we were going to do like a box set of things for, each, for like, so me and Deanna did one for Kirsty, Deanna and Kirsty did one for me, and then me and Kirsty did one for Deanna. If that makes sense. So this is my little gift box that I got this year. Ta-da! This is it. Isn't it beautiful? And the, I have, what I love about this is this stuff. Because it's rose gold and it's pink and it's beautiful. However, I don't know what I want to keep it, but I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. So this is the contents of the box, which I will now talk you through. So the first thing... Of course, fluffy socks. <laughs> I've got so many fluffy socks this year. I love it. And then, because obviously I do wear them a lot, I've got some more scrunchies, but these are more like a velvet material. I've got like a like a dark, dusky pink one, I've got a black one, and I've got like a what colour would you call it? Like a brownie purple, but purple, but brownie kind of. I don't know. And then I've got a vanilla candle from IKEA. Now I love I. Me and Jack love lighting candles, and this is always going to be one of my favourites. I'm so boring. I'm so boring. I love vanilla. It's beautiful. And then, of course, a new beauty blender, which I do need to use. I could have used that today, actually. And then it comes with a little, a little holder, which is rose gold, which is really pretty, which I love because I know, I know, Kirsty put one of these in Deanna. Put one of these in Deanna's. So I was really thinking. I was thinking. I really hope I get one of these. I really want one of these. And then we got a face mask. I've got the from Parma. Re, 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 revitalizing. There we go. Marine algae. Marine. Marine algae hydroluronic acid sheet mask. And the next thing is some allergy comfort tissues because I always, well, especially in the summer, I have hay fever. My nose hurts. My eyes hurt. It's not fair. Why would I get blessed with freaking hay fever? However, I've got some more tissues. They're nice and soft. And Jack's going to use them at the moment because he's got a cold. 
Now, of course, a lush bath bomb. It smells beautiful. This is sex bomb, which is like, I believe it's like pink, purple, and it's got like a little flower on top. I know, way too many lush bath bombs. However, I can't use this yet. However, at the start of January, hopefully me and Jack will be moving so I can use it in my new bath. And then I've got some Cosmic Unicorn Shower Gel, Shower, shower Gel, Shower Gel. Co Cosmic Unicorn Shower Gel, which is from Imperial Leather, which smells absolutely beautiful. Please don't go all over the place. It smells nice. It smells kind of like Lush, which I like. And the final present in here is a Primark, ooh, the Toilette, Wild Passion, I believe it's a perfume. I tried it the other day, this one's really nice. But this is it, it's really pretty. That one's really nice. This is the box that it came in. So from Jack's mum's stepdad, they she does like they do like stocking presents every year. So I've got a little stocking. So this is this is this is mine and Jack's stocking because she kind of like she puts both our presents in one, but she wraps them both in different paper. So I get one paper, Jack gets the other. So one of the main presents we got is a pair, a pair of pajamas each, which I'll insert a picture here because they're in the wash at the moment. But that was us wearing them. I've got Barbie, Jack's got like a camo-y sort of one. I've got a, I think this is the lip balm. Yeah, this is the lip polish from Primark. So this is the lip polish from Primark. And of course, it's pink. I have a very pink theme, of course. Then a, a little bubble bath to use in the new house. Some face wipes some barbie hair bands to go with my pajamas some nail polish then she got us like a little tea light holder and then she got us some tea lights so we've got the banana flower yankee candle although we've got to be careful because like yankee candle candles actually set off jack's asthma they make him really chesty so we have to be careful about how often we use them and then i got a yep this is the this is another perfume so it's like a perfume oil which is very bougie some hand cream, which I'm using on Jack because he gets really crusty hands. Got the Coral Peony Yankee Candle. And finally, a gin o'clock lip balm because everyone knows how much I love the, I love, a, I love the occasional pink gin. But it smells beautiful. <laughs> and finally, I've got my presents from my mum's side of the family. So this is my aunt and uncle who we saw on the day after Boxing Day. So they got me some little bits in this which is really cute so the first thing they got me was a spectrum makeup brush as my as my aunt Tina knows how much I love doing my makeup and obviously she uses the sees my channel it's a really soft little brush I don't know which one I've got to find out which one it is for first what it's for first and then I can use it because I also want to get some more as well to get like a little matching set and then I got a Steve Laurent eyeshadow palette with lots of like brownie news kind of colours which I love to use and it's got lots of shimmers as well which makes it even better I've got a kind of kind KNDR beauty you haven't heard of that one kind bronze bronzer this looks like this and just like that the camera died so it's about half an hour later and I'm gonna carry on filming the rest of this video so the next thing they got me was the LA Splash Cosmetic Moonlight Glow and it's got two blushes, a bronzer and a highlight shade which look really pretty and then a E Spotlight Highlight Pencil which looks beautiful and then finally like as a thing for me and Jack they got us so they got us this gift card which has like 80 plus choices where you can get go to things like John Lewis, H&M, Curry's, Argos, so you can do food like Wagamama's or another Pizza Hut. And we've also got Feel Unique, ASOS, Sky Store, Waterstones, all different things. So we'll definitely be going to be using that soon. Now I'm pretty sure that that is everything. I made a list, I checked it twice, so I'm gonna go with yes, that is everything. <laughs> Just again, I am extremely grateful for every single thing I got. So thank you to Emily family and friends that are watching this video right now. Hello and thank you. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button down below. Comment in the comments in future videos you guys like to see. Today is currently the last day of 2021, which is really strange to think about. So I will see you all in 2022. Bye.